Well, hey guys, what is up? Oh my goodness, Disney has just announced some amazing things for their new ship, the Destiny. It was an awesome three-day event, so we're gonna talk about our thoughts. We asked you guys what you're most excited about, so we're gonna talk about that too. Let's do this. Well, welcome if you're new. My name is Justin, this is Lacey, and we do a lot of Disney Cruise content here on this channel. And we also have a Disney Cruise information playlist that we're constantly updating, so we'll link that below. But without further ado, let's talk about the Disney Destiny. And you guys probably know what I'm most excited about, hence the t-shirt. <laughs> let's just start there. Let's start there. Okay, so they announced the new restaurant for the rotational dining is the Feast of the Lion King, which everything in me, because I'm a 90s, 80s, 90s kid, is just so excited for this. So we're going to kind of share our thoughts, but we're also going to read some things that Disney's have, have shared about it. Because I think it's kind of nice, you know, just to I'm gonna hear put it more out here. information. I think this may be my favorite restaurant on Disney Cruise. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, of course we haven't tried it yet, <laughs> but I just think like, well, at least the vibe for me. I don't know about the food, the menu, right? but at least just the vibe. Yes, and we have done The Wish before and Frozen was on there and I love, love the music from Frozen. However, it's love not the it's music not from King. Lion King a whole lot better. So if yeah. I get serenaded by can you Ooh. feel the love tonight? Oh, man. And I can't wait to be king, like, while I'm eating oh, my those are four course meal. <laughs> and cumulatata. Yes. I mean, they, I mean, it means no worries. Yeah. It's just going to be. It's going to be a good time. Let's just say that. Oh, man. <laughs> so as families dine, a colorful ensemble of live musicians and storytellers will take the stage in the center of the restaurant, like Frozen, mm -hmm. complete with tiered risers that evoke African drums. I mean... <laughs> Come it's gonna on. be so good. As they present a musical journey through the award-winning soundtrack performances will include productions of Circle of Life. Okay, of course. Kuminatata. I have to. Plus a mash up of I Just Can't Wait to Be King and Be Prepared. <gasps> a fun Be what? Prepared yeah. is such an underrated song. It's one of my favorite villain songs, for sure. I yeah. love it. And a fun take that highlights the hero villain dynamic of the story. Mm. So, you know, Scar's going to show up and he's going to be like, what's up? That's Mufasa. <laughs> no, over here. On this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's weird on the camera. It's know, like backwards. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, like, but look at this shirt, guys. I'm, I'm serious. Like, this is, I mean, we actually bought this because we're going on the Disney treasure. treasure and we bought this before some... we knew that this was happening on yes. the Disney Destiny. And so I'm like, you gotta dude, I, I got a shirt for two cruises now. You're this set. Perfect. <laughs> So as Lacey said, we have some comments from you guys yeah. that will actually talk a little bit more about this restaurant as we get there. But again, if you want to be part of the discussion on future videos, head to Our Zero on Instagram, mm -hmm. O-U-R-Z-R-O-L-L, -L, and uh, we just love when you guys interact there, yeah. but we'll share some of those in just a bit. Next up is Edna Mode. Okay, the name is so good. Edna a la Mode mm. Sweets. So mm. this is going to be kind of based off of the short film they said of Edna and Jack Jack as she's like anti Edna. So good. Um, is what I've read, but absolutely love The Incredibles. Yeah. Especially our kid, our boys. They yes. they love Edna mode for whatever reason. Yes. <laughs> so. I mean, they just think she, they love saying her name. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, they're they're going to love this space. But they shared they'll have gelato, ice cream. And they said cookies. And I'm like, okay, hold up a second. It better be Jack Jack cookies. It better be Jack Jack cookies. If you guys have been to DCA, they have the Jack Jack oh. num num cookies that yeah. are like huge. I mean, yeah. they ha it would theme so well. This is what I'm going to do. So. Okay, if they okay, have the Jack Jack cookies. Yes. I'm going to purchase one. One. Okay. Well, two. Two. Actually. <laughs> and then I'm going to head gonna on deck. Already. I'm going to get the soft serve. Yeah. I'm going to. Fill half, the, half cookie. the cookie and put my other cookie on top and make an ice cream sandwich. That's what I'm going to do with that if it's a giant You heard it here cookie. first, ladies and gentlemen. First. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you see people doing this, <laughs> it, is it came from, from Justin's channel. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Let's talk coffee, you guys. Guys, I, I have to say with the Disney Wish, Disney Treasure, and now the Disney Destiny, mm -hmm. I am so excited that they are theming these coffee shops because when we go travel our favorite things is to find different coffee shops mm -hmm. go in there get a cup of coffee and check out the vibe yeah the coffee shop yeah the fact that they have our favorite disney stories themed yeah the coffee shops is, is a game changer right and i'm like so excited about this. nothing against cove cafe because you can just no, nothing it's, against it's it. a good cool place to chill out i'm gonna go this get my is, coffee at these places oh heck yeah okay 
So the first one they've announced, and we don't have any images or pictures where we put it up, but it's based off of Hercules. It's called Cafe Megara after Meg. She had the amazing ponytail yeah. off Hercules. So it's gonna have a very like ancient Greek vibe, but I'll read what it says here. The world of Greek gods and legendary heroes with a unique Greco disco design. The vibrant oh. space will be filled with the lightning bolts and clouds of Mount Olympus. Vases featuring the muses nods to Pegasus and waves on the ceiling. I wonder I Super wonder cool. if if there's gonna have music playing. Like what music if it's if it's kinda like disco vibe. Yeah. Like what kind of music's gonna be playing in that space? That'll be cool. Oh man. That's gonna be awesome. Alright, the second walk up cafe they have announced is And I'm most excited about this one. Cafe Merida. Yes. Off of the movie Brave. Yes. So, if you had a chance to change your fate, would you? <laughs> Love it. So this one I can't says wait for this. it's going to invoke her family's Scottish Highlands heritage. Oh. Special touches, including a tapestry I hung from a mounted bow, I heard. while glowing lights above the bar will pay tribute to the Willow of the Wisps, ethereal blue flames that lead the travelers mm -hmm. to their destiny. Which Themes perfectly. Like yeah. It's destiny. Also, Love it. good job, Disney. Also, I heard <laughs> that you get free coffee if you're if you're a redhead. I, I heard that. I don't know. I'm Those just saying lies, it, it, ha it happened. It's out there somewhere on some weird forum. Is it? Yeah. Um. So I'm just saying. I mean, we have, I mean, redheads out there, like we, we need all the help we can get sometimes. Uh -huh. What I love about this too is that it's just off the grand hall. Whenever I book like a hotel, I always look at the lobby before even the rooms. Yeah. I'm such a big like lobby person. I love hanging out in the lobby. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So the yeah. fact that coffee bars are just off the lobby. And then you can just hang out in the grand hall with your coffee. It's perfect. Love it. Go in there get the vibe of the space and, and then go out to the grand hall. But also I love how there's, specialty beverages and snacks. Mm. Now for the staterooms or the retreats. I love what Disney says here. Each stateroom will showcase custom artwork depicting the epic journey of famous Disney legends, evoking a sense of awe and inspiration as families rest, mm -hmm. reconnect, and dream of far off places. Yes, I so we that. have the picture here. They've shown us Hercules themed one, which I, I absolutely love that they're bringing Hercules, yeah. Lion King, you know, like our kid, you know, era movies into this. Actually, our boys love Hercules yeah. right now. Landon and Tucker were talking about it the other day. So, it's so cool. Like, the vibe of it, the picture. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to one of my, I'm going to say favorite things again, but the DeVille's Piano Lounge. Oh, man. Can we just talk about the spotted piano? I can't wait to see that. I wonder, I mean, I hope they let people like take pictures with it, I mean, right? They're not going to have it like blocked off. It is so stinking cute and it's going to be iconic. It's going to be one of those things. Great. So it says it's going to be themed like, you know, Corella de Ville, blacks, whites, and reds. Perfect. That's all you need. Love it. One of my favorite things about this space is that yeah. it's going to be open to the Grand Hall. Yeah. So you're going to be able to, you know, get your, your beverages and explore the Grand Hall a little mm -hmm. bit. But I'm just wondering if you're going to be able to hear the piano music from I the know. Grand Hall kind of brings you into the space. Yeah. I love that. I love mm -hmm. how there's more things coming off of the Grand Hall. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like... Like the parks, like, you know, when that you... That central you, hub. The central yeah. hub, and you can go to Adventureland or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And I, I love that. And next up, cast and canon. Oh, my goodness. Boom. We haven't Drink seen, up like, any pictures or renderings of this one, but... That's going to be pretty cool. It's themed off Pirates of the Caribbean. It's going to be... What else do you need? So cool. And it sounds like they're going to have the Haunted Mansion parlor as mm -hmm. well. Yep. So one of, like, two of the best rides in the Disney parks. I love how it says, Cannon Pub will be an electric yet cozy watering hole furnished with treasures acquired. Mm. It's going to be great. But yeah, awesome. having Haunted Mansion, Pirates of the Caribbean, mm -hmm. all those vibes. I just love it because we go to the parks and we love how there's all the theming in the different lands, different areas, and same with the ship now. Yeah. It's just so cool. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. So next up is the Aqua Mouse, which we fell in love with Aqua Mouse on the Disney. Love it. Wish we mm -hmm. wrote it like several times. Yeah. And the storyline was fantastic. Yes. And this storyline seems even better oh. or just different but yeah. you know it's gonna be cool to have a different storyline right and very themed with the villains because that's going to be integrated into that so it's called in a, a sing a silly song so it says in sing a silly song mickey and minnie will lead guests on a seemingly ominous track to the peak of villain mountain when faced with some of the most fearsome villains of disney animation 
lore, the duo will employ a silly song and a bit of pixie dust to transform each chilling encounter with a wacky surprise. So here it says guests will laugh and splash along as Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, Scar from The Lion King, and then Chernabog from Fantasia. And I'm not sure who that is. I know Fantasia, but I'm sure if I see him, I'll know. And other characters find themselves in, in unconventionally hilarious situations. Sounds so fun. Oh, yeah. That'll be awesome. 100%. And speaking of villains, I'm just loving how the, that the villains are going to be showing up in different parts of the ship. Yeah. Especially the character meet and greets. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, a lot of the times you don't get to have pictures with, with villains, villains in Maybe the Maybe Captain Hook, but you there. rarely see them so in the So it's going to be cruise. great having more of the villains on the ship. Mm -hmm. It says they'll be integrated more, like Justin said, with meet and greets, also with like different activities and even like some trivia. Does they come in or something? Yeah, but That's some of cool. them they talked about. Like take over almost? Maybe, like the villains take over, but some of them they talked about was like Oogie Boogie, mm -hmm. and then also um, Bruno. Oh, that's gonna I mean, be cool. From, yeah, hey, Kanto. Don't, don't, don't talk about him. Okay. I don't know if I consider him a villain. I guess he's the villain in a sense in that show, but I yeah. love Bruno. I think that's Bruno's so cool. Best. And Loki is another one they talked about too. Okay, we talked about the Grand Hall, but we haven't talked about the Grand Hall. Right. You know what I'm talking about? The theming, everything. <laughs> so the main central iconic statue they have will be the Black Panther himself. That is so cool. I'm gonna read some things it says. So it's inspired by the rich lore distinctive, iconic, and vibrant palette of Marvel Studios' Black Panther films. The Grand Hall will be Disney Cruise Line's Kingdom of the Seas. So it says, a breathtaking light fixture inspired by vibranium, the rare metallic ore found in Wakanda, will generate show-stopping effects that will fill the room with life and color. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Presiding over the Grand Hall will be the statue of T'Challa, the Black Panther, King of Wakanda, devoted son and beloved brother sworn to protect not only his kingdom, but the Disney destiny. Boom. And again, just off the Grand Hall will be Saga, which will be like the central hub for daytime activity, like family mm -hmm. activities. So that's gonna be great. Yeah, they haven't shown any renderings or pictures of this, but it sounds like it's gonna be- Keep the vibe. Yeah, of... like double, um, Double, double story, double but then, deck. yeah, the vibe of uh, Wakanda, yeah. too. It says, charged with an electric atmosphere of possibility, Saga will be the more dramatic counterpart to the ethereal Grand Hall. That's cool. That's all, like, yeah. themed the same. Love That'll that. be awesome. So, for the first time in forever. Just kidding. The first time in Disney Cruise Line history, a Marvel superhero will be a signature stirring character on the Disney Destiny, which is... None other than... Spider-Man and Here it is. the Spider-Bots. That is, like, who else would fit that? You know, if you had to pick a pick of a Marvel character. I love that. I absolutely love it. Especially because, you know, you just think of Spider-Man. You know, he can just crawl all over the ship. Like, the boys, our boys are huge Spider-Man fans. Yeah. So, this may be their favorite ship now. It might be just because <laughs> of that. Also, in true Iron Man style, the Destiny Tower Suite will literally take the Disney Destiny motif to new heights. The Marvel-inspired penthouse will honor Iron Man's mighty legacy. Okay, I think this is a great idea Tony for a Stark penthouse baby. because yes. you know what I mean. Like uh, the billionaire. Like I, yeah. I just think that this is such a good idea for a suite. I wonder if Robert Downey Jr. will be the first to stay there. Oh man, that'd be hilarious! That'd that be hilarious. Be like, wait a second, Iron oh, man. man, Tony yeah. Stark, you're in your own suite. Oh man, I mean, that's pretty cool. This this would be a dream of mine. Just saying that right now. But there's going to be like a, uh, I heard that there's going to be a 2,000 square feet of living space. Oh my gosh. Um, it has a full kitchen and a private in-suite elevator. elevator. Guesting what? at the Disney Tower Suite and uh, all concierge level accommodations, guests will receive premium level okay, service, all that kind of stuff. But there's going to be their own private sun deck. So cool. I mean, there better be. I'm sure the oh cost gosh. of that thing, you yeah. better get that too. <laughs> oh my goodness. This would be so cool to see though. And they're bringing back the World of Marvel, kind of the same as the treasure mm -hmm. where it's going to be uh, Groot and Rocket. Yeah. And you're going to be able to just hang out, listen to some good music. And there's going to be some trivia as well happening. We love dinner, trivia. Which is going to be I think great. So fun. That's such a cool thing. Yeah. So we're very excited about that. Okay, before we hit up your comments, uh, we wanted to share the Disney Destiny will sail an inaugural season of four and five night cruises to the Bahamas and Western Caribbean from Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale, Which we've never, Florida. Which we've never been. And that will start that in November 2025. Boom. We have not. Yeah. So. Bookings open to the general public Thursday, September 12th. Whew. That's this year. But if you're a Castaway Club member... 
then it's going to be, you know, before that, sooner. depending on your tier. Right. Um, wow. Exciting. Exciting. So we have never been to Port Everglades before, so mm -hmm. that would be really cool. Yeah. And I love how it's four to five. Now, I would prefer seven, mm -hmm. but we got a comment a while back why people actually liked the three night or four night for the wish yeah. because it wasn't as expensive. That's a good point. So this the fact the that it's in that middle yeah. of four or five, I think we would probably do the five if we can swing it, mm -hmm. um, if it's in our date range. Um, Maybe four days if we're going to stay at the Tony Stark suite. <laughs> You never know. Um, but uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Kind yeah. of like the sweet spot between the two. Yeah. So for the first comment is Kevin Booten, 1675. Looking forward to the sunset and sunrise in the Pride Lands. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. It does say the back wall is going to be interactive. Like I, a sunset and sunrise. Uh, like that African like vibe with animal. Ugh. So cool. I love lights mm -hmm. and I just cannot wait to eat my dinner and watch a sunset mm -hmm. or sunrise yeah after we read that I was like wait what oh and gosh. I went and read about it I'm like sure enough that is gonna be it's gonna be insane so so cool I, I honestly I, this is gonna be my favorite I think it's gonna be my favorite yeah because I mean hopefully the, menu, hopefully the have, menu's good I know, I mean, that'd right? be a bummer not only do you have the cool like live show but then it's almost like you think of art of animation, you know, how like the yeah. pictures change. So you're going to have that, you know, stuff to look at going on around the restaurant. Yeah. That's cool. What do you think the menu is going to be though? I don't know. Man. What do you guys think? Let I us know, know below what you guys think. Yeah. Let's, let's try to dream a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's get some rumors going. Like what do you think it's going to be? <laughs> right. Oh man, I, I can't wait. I mean, mm -hmm. just the desserts, the appetizers. Yeah. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I'm curious. Man, I hope they have like oh, one that's just called the Kumu Matata and it's just like this, the biggest piece of chocolate cake ever and it's like, hey, it means no worries. Just eat it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about the calories. <laughs> okay, in the finish of this comment, uh, we're enjoying rum in the Cask and Cannon. However, and don't hate me, but I feel that it's too much Marvel with the statue and the Stern character and I also think it's good to have Fort Lauderdale based ship for the Finding Nemo terminal. Mm -hmm. I also think it'll be a short cruise which will be amazing to mix with the witch oh yeah oh that's... if you wanted to do you know oh yeah both ships, that's, that would that'd be, be cool. actually pretty cool and i have heard that about the terminal uh that it's finding nemo themed in fort mm -hmm. lauderdale that's which cool. is so cute because you got port canaveral that just feels very disney so i'm glad that we have another one that has a yeah. disney theme that's really awesome cool. and as far as black panther it did take me by surprise when i first saw it i was just kind of like wait what because like you think of like more of like the nostalgic Disney characters, I think a little mm -hmm. bit, and and then, the, but then the more I was thinking about it and the theming and and how everything's gonna be integrated, I was like, okay, I get it. I think it's gonna be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, but, but you are right. There is a lot of Marvel with there is the Grand Hall with yeah. Spider Man, the restaurant. It sounds like and, if, other and stuff. if you don't like Marvel or you don't care for it, yeah, eh, you know what I mean. But it this seems like I mean they keep saying it's heroes and villains. So it seems very heavy on those two. Yeah. So if that's your thing, this will be, you know, more of that type of style you want to yeah. go for. So we're a huge Marvel family, so we're excited about it. But I, I, I get it. If, yeah. if I wasn't, I'd be like, eh, whatever. Yeah. Why don't we just get like, you know, I don't know. Like, for example, wh why couldn't it have been Mufasa? You know what I mean? Yeah. Why couldn't Mufasa just been hanging out there and be like, what's up? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like that, I think that actually would have been pretty cool. I think that would be cool too. Honestly. Ooh, my <laughs> and then also Kenneth Preston 9813 said, I don't care for the Wakanda atrium as I like the classic look of the atrium mm -hmm. on the fantasy and dream the best. Specifically, I feel like it's too much IP theming in the atrium. Also, don't don't you think on a Disney ship it would be perfect to have more Pirates of the Caribbean theming? POC, I love it. Yeah. It is a ship after all, and they have a, a pirate, pirate night. night. I think Good they point. miss an opportunity to do more POC theming on their ships. I'm still excited about the ship, though, and I love DCL. Interesting. That would be actually pretty cool mm -hmm. to have more Pirates of Caribbean. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, it does, especially because they do pirate nights on every Oh, my gosh. Ship. I would love that, actually, yeah. if it was if there was a lot more. Oh, man. Yeah. Just have Jack Sparrow as a character. Right. I don't know. That would be I pretty know. cool. I feel like that vibe would go well with the treasure, though, like POC. Cause yeah. Not, I mean, treasure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But... That's a good point. You know, and as far as like the fantasy and the dream, like I, I love that we have ships that are just 
the classic because Mm -hmm. ultimately, like, it's just fun to go back to the original. Well, and that's what's cool. If you want that, you've got the fantasy, the dream. Yeah. You've got the magic and the wonder that all have that, you know? So it's like... But there is a you there is a lot of IP in the actual atrium. Yes. Kelly Watt 4 said, I'm excited about the villains part. Can't wait to see what they do with that. Yes. I know. I'm excited too to see just walking around the ship, just, you know, going to the pool deck and you just randomly see villains and just, you know, how they integrate it in different things and shows. It's just fun. There's something about Disney villains that, I don't know, maybe it brings me back to when I was a little girl in the parks because I was always so scared because they were so big. Yeah. I was so scared of Jafar. He yeah. scared me so bad. Yeah. I remember I even have a picture of my mom and they're like, let's take a picture. And I'm like, just well, even, sitting even there. Hook, I'm just like, what <laughs> is just, this guy? Yeah, so. But I just love how, yeah, like, fun. because of, you know, the heroes and the villains and they're going to be, you know, at, at each other. Yeah. I think that's going to be cool is, like, you're just kind of hanging out on deck or something and then right. there might be some kind of storyline that takes place. Yeah. Um, and you know good how versus bad, you know, I don't know. Right, you know how characters will interact with each other at the parks, too, if they see each other? So I oh, wonder if there's, wonder. like, heroes walking around and then you see villains and they're like, you know, that will be fun. I bet there is. There's gonna, yeah, I, I'm excited about yeah. that, too. Rachel Triello said, meeting the villains because it's not always possible to find them in the parks. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be able to hang out with them for, like, five nights. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and, I mean, it's a huge part of the ship, so it's, right. there's probably going to be a lot of meet and greets. Mm-hmm. I honestly think... And this is, and maybe not, but I wonder if the meet and greet lines are going to be the longest on this ship. Because you because don't, you don't see, see all the villains, villains in yeah. the park as much. So I wonder if meet and greet, they're going to maybe have more of them. They, they might they might understand that we want to see more villains. Right. So I wonder if they'll have more of them in like our itinerary. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But that's going to be cool because if, if mm-hmm. I, because for me, like if I see, if I see Peter Pan, I'm like, ah, whatever. I'm not going to go see him. But if I see Hook, I'm there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For some reason, it's because you just don't have those kind of pictures. And it's just different. And I'm wondering, because you're saying, like, before, just how are they going to be, you know, involved more in the ship? I wonder if they'll do some kind of, like, deck show with the villains. Yeah. That would be fun, too. Like, at night? Yeah. I also wonder if Disney will sell more photo packages on this itinerary because of all the villains. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, we don't usually buy them, but I think I'd be tempted to buy it on this one. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay, Emmy Diane said, Hercules-themed rooms because the movie is one of my favorites, because, but I feel it isn't as appreciated. Totally underrated movie. It is. Totally. It absolutely is. And yeah. I feel like giving those movies some, some, some nods. justice yeah, it, and nods. Because there's no Hercules ride mm. in the parks or, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm excited. So, it's going to be good. good. Matthew J. Lewis said, a new ship to explore. You know, end of the day, mm-hmm. that's, I think, bottom line, what I'm so excited about these new ships coming out is because... Yeah. We've been on the originals, you know, quite a bit. And so being able to embark on a brand new ship. Explore new and things. And it's just, it's fresh. There's new things at every corner. And I love it. And I yeah. love that it is longer than The Wish. Mm-hmm. At least a little bit. A little bit. Because it takes more time to be able to take it all in. Lita105 said the Lion King restaurant because it brings me back to my early 90s nostalgia. Yep. And just because food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. just because food. I know. But seriously, so I, I that. just, it's going to be my favorite. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. Got like, that shirt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because it's only a four or five night cruise, there's a chance you're not going to be able to go to this restaurant twice. I think I would... Really try to talk to my travel agent and be like, hey, can you talk to Disney? Can you talk to Disney, please? Can we get in that? (laughs) Can we please get in there twice? You know what I mean, though? Yeah. Like, how cool of an experience would be to do it twice? Also, they haven't actually come... I haven't read anything. You guys let me know if we're wrong. Have they shared if 1923 is going to be on here? I haven't read Oh, they have confirmed Marvel. Yeah. And they've said Lion King. So what's number three? Have you guys heard anything? Let us know. Is it 1923? Which I think it's a good balance if they do that. I really do like 1923. I really do. Yeah. All right. Brittany Hayden said, steaming and the Cruella de Vil bar. And then she's like, sorry, that was supposed to be theming (laughs) and Cruella de Vil bar. Talked, text, did me dirty. Happens to me all the time. (laughs) But yeah, theming is great. The Cruella de Vil. Oh my gosh. Again, there's another 90s movie. I absolutely love 101 Dalmatians, and I think I did read, too, it's going to bring aspects of the actual um, live-action Cruella movie with Emma Stone. Stone. 
Is Emma Stone it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How did you know that? You never know that. Because I like Emma Stone. Okay. That was a great movie, by the way. So I wonder, you know, if they have kind of that vibe of her, like, fashionista part of it, too. Uh, I, it. So we, when we plan Disney Cruise, like, right now we're on The Treasure, we talked about, but we have a whole hit list of movies we watch that are kind of theming, you know, with the mm -hmm. cruise. And that's what I love about these new ships is that there's so many more movies to watch now. Yeah. So you have more time to prepare. And... I actually really want to watch Cruella right now. That movie well, has great let's, music. Let's book the Destiny first, and then we can put on our hit list. We can't until September. <laughs> who will, okay, who else is booking it? Yeah, who's going to book for know. the first year? Or what are you guys thinking? What's your game plan with yes. this? Because I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet. I know. Um, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what that you know how much it is, the cost, all that kind of stuff, right. the bottom line stuff. But if you could, in a perfect world, like what would you do? Are you going to wait it out a little bit? Are you going to go the first year? Let us know. Steph Marie M said pirates theming. Yes, uh, you know I, I agree with the other comment too. Is like why, why isn't there more pirates of the Caribbean stuff in these ships? Exactly. And so it's like the perfect platform for yeah, it. especially with yeah. the pirate night and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. I wonder though when it is pirate night, how booked is that space going to be? You know what right. I mean? Because everyone's going to want the picture. And be in their pirate, the pirate gear, gear in the actual cask and cannon, you know, yeah. pirate pub. Yeah. I'm That's excited for point. that. I'm excited to see what it has to offer. And just, again, we like going to those spaces to just kind of people watch and just see what, you know, just be in the moment with it. I also wonder with Pirate Night if they'll do something special for that day. Because you think about it, like at the dinners and stuff, they have like the special like cups for the kids and things like that. So yep. I wonder if there'll be like some kind of special pirate theming for Pirate Night. My active life, Stacy said, overarching Marvel theme, strong theming, and a lot of the spaces like the Wish slash Treasure. It is. Uh, it is. I know. And honestly, like when the when the Wish first came out, we were kind of like we we're, were excited about it because we do like we do like theming and we like that they're bringing like the parks on the ship, and so we're all about that. Our kids are about that, and we're just in the season where we like that. But, however, I'm just – it's its its going to be it's nice a, to go back to the original ships, though. Yeah, I'm glad that you still we still have those because there is, like, nothing that's untouched with theming now, it seems like. Even yeah. the theaters, you have the Neverland and Wonderland, all the, you know, clubs, the kids' area, everything yeah. is themed now. Like, yeah. very – and heavy honest, theme. honestly, when so. you have kids our age as well, like th that's what I mean. That they're so excited about the theming; it entertains mm -hmm. them and all that kind of stuff. And so it is really cool. But mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it's almost to the point where it's like when we do like Disney Cruise, if we ever do it with just us, I think we would just go back to like the original. You know what I mean? Yeah. I still like the new ones, yeah. but I think. It's kind of cool, though, thinking about it. Like, right. The kids really love the new spaces with well, the, the kids club, and they've done a great job with understanding just the, the the culture of where our kids are at. Right. And um, here's something to think about, yeah. too, because I was talking about this with my sister. So when we were going on the treasure, like we mentioned, and uh, my dad and his wife are coming, and so we were talking about we need to help dad make sure he knows everything before he goes on the cruise because I don't think my dad has seen Coco. So, for example, like, we should show them the movie Coco because the restaurant's named Coco. Yeah. And, like, Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, make sure he's up to speed with that. But if you go yeah, on one true. of the other ships, like, you're going to go on the Fantasy or, you know, Dream, Magic, it's, Wonder, you're going to be fine. Because yeah. it's, like, he's going to know it's nothing, like, heavy themed. Yeah. So, it's something to consider if you're not a big, you know, Disney connoisseur and you've seen them all and you love it all. Especially if you don't like Marvel, it's just something to consider. Bottom line, even if you don't know the whole Marvel universe or whatever, it's still going to be very entertaining, and it's going to be a lot of fun s spaces to see and to view, um, and just the vibe of it. And I, I think it's great. But yeah, to your point, I think it's 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 good to think about depending on who your party is. Um, are they going to just be feel more relaxed in just kind of the original ships because they don't have to like be asking the question, what is that? What is this? You know, mm -hmm. um, it, I, it's just two different camps. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad that we have, um, you know, a lot of options, options and, yeah. and variety. Anyways, I think this video is long. I don't know how long it is, mm -hmm. but I think we're going to stop there. Thank you again for all your questions. Yeah. We do a lot of Disney Cruise content. We actually have new Disney Cruise content every Saturday on our channel. We also do lifestyle vlogs as well. So if you haven't already, we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel and like this video and also comment below. It really does help our channel. And because mm -hmm. we're talking about Disney Cruise, if you watched all the way till the end, first off, thank you so much for doing that. Maybe put the cruise emoji 
in the comments. Yes, or share something the ship else. ship emoji, I should say. <laughs> the cruise emoji. Or share something else you are excited about that we didn't mention today. Yes, yes. Or something else we don't know that you know about the Destiny. And, you know, as uh, more time progresses, there's going to be more and more stuff that's going to be coming out. Right. Uh, so, yeah, if, you've w if you're watching this a little bit later on, Put it down below mm -hmm. because we'll use that as a form as people are watching this video and they can kind of see some new updated information. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, we love you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.